What's up, YouTube? This is uh, your boy SSP, Silver Stacks Prepper, back at you again with another banger done, Dini. Um, today, I just wanted to talk about um, you know stacking silver, the difference between um, you know fake money and 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 real money. You know, um, a lot of people talk about silver um, is not an investment. Um, I guess I, I would have to agree and disagree. Uh, silver is an investment in you. Um, as far as silver being an investment and you looking for a large return on, on investment or ROI, um, that's unlikely unless, you know, you're playing the game of, you know, watching the market and waiting for silver to, you know, to hit $50 an ounce and, and you want to dump it off at that point, then, yeah, you know, silver can be an investment if you're holding off for that one moment, you know, um, whichever year that may happen, then I can understand you saying that silver is an investment, but silver also is an investment in yourself, right? You're investing your own finances in your own hands, right? At that point, your, you know, your finances are in your, your control. Um, as far as silver, you know, being, a hedge of it against inflation, you know, I definitely um, agree with that. Some people would say that, you know, silver is not a hedge against uh, inflation. Um, you know, silver for me is for long term investment, long term retirement. If something happens, then my silver, um, you know, it is a reserve currency, right? Um, I'll be able to go pick this up and cash this in at any coin shop. Any coin shop will would be able to take this without a problem. I mean, this is this is a well-known coin. Um, you know, you will have some milk spotting um, on some of this stuff. They say the 2020, 2021s, 2022s, you, you won't see it. I haven't seen any. I have uh, some Britannias, and I definitely see some on the Britannias. But if you're getting milk spots, when you invest into Canadian maples and, and silver Britannias, you're going to get milk spots. I mean, that's 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 a safety mechanism. I mean, you know, it's actually in the, um, you know, the the uh, I forgot the name of what it's called. It's actually in the the um, the liquid at the mint that they use to protect it, to kind of seal the coin. It leaves the, the milk spots on it. So, you know, these coins carry a small premium uh, in comparison to um, the Silver Eagle. However, when you cash your coins in, you know, the investment of that premium goes with you. I mean, you get that back. You also, um, you know, the person that's buying them from you, such as the coin shop, you won't have a problem selling them to the coin shop. The coin shop also understands that, um, you know, there's the probability of having, um, you know, milk spots in them. So when you got them in a tube, when you build a trust and relationship with a with your local coin shop, you don't have to go in. I never have to go in any of the coin shops I go in. I never have to pull out the silver, let them test it. You know, I just tell them what's in it. They'll pop the top, look look in there at the first one and just accept that, you know, I said there's 25 maples uh, in this container. Well, they're, they'll take that, you know, as, as, as fact, right? I mean, I've dealt with them so much to where they believe um, what I say. Now, if I want to be shysty and wrong, I'll go in there with a bunch of you know, generics and say, hey, you know, I got a bunch of, you know, maples and put one maple on the top. I mean, you could be shysty like that, but why? I mean, you'll ruin your relationship. I mean, this this is the long term, um, you know, game. I'm not in this for no short short term game and, you know, trying to get over on people and, you know, soil my name. You know, um, it's all about stacking for me um, and I'll be stacking for years. You know, I've been stacking since it was like fifteen, sixteen dollars and uh, a coin, you know, an ounce. Um, well, here we're at 2201 today. Silver is hitting 2201. It'll probably go down to 21. Um, gold, I didn't check on gold, actually. Um, but, you know, when the prices are down, they say it's blood in the street. It's time to eat. That's when you go buy more, right? You you, you average out your, you know, the, the price you're paying. Um, so I love silver. Silver is a beautiful thing to look at. Um, I enjoy um, everyday carries, you guys. So this is what my everyday carry uh, situation currently looks like right now. Um, you know, don't get mad at me, y'all. But um, this is my this is my everyday carry. I mean, I got the Dragon. Um, let me see, what is this? The 2020 Australian 
silver one ounce dragon, right? I have a um, what is this? A restrike of the 1740, I think. Wait, wait, wait. Restrike of the 1780. Teresa, right? Uh oh, I just dropped. Uh, I just dropped something here, but I just dropped one of these. This is my everyday carry. Two ounce fatty, one of my everyday carries. Half ounce walking, generic everyday carry. Maple. I think this is a 2018, 2021 everyday carry. My other walking, generic everyday carry. My Britannia everyday carry. I think this is a 20, let me look here. 2016 everyday carry. And then this completer coin is my everyday carry, right? Queen's Beast completer. I had this toned antique that I just wanted to see. You know what it did, um, but this is yeah my one of my everyday carries. All these coins are, all this silver is kind of like my everyday carry. Um, something to play with. I love it. The reason why I have these two, um, Germania Mint MS68 and MS69s out, is because I'm gonna bust these out of the the NGC holders, and these are now going to be my everyday carries in, in addition to the other ones, right? So something like this, I mean, I paid for these um, because I wanted to collect the whole series, but I don't know. I, I mean, I really don't care. I, I'd rather have a, the joy of holding them in my hand than actually having a collection. Um, if it's not MS-70, I kind of don't. I kind of don't want it. Um, so I'm going to take these out of the holders um probably in my next video i'll bust them out or bust them out before and just kind of show you um what i did this was the germania and columbia 2019 um allegories the first release and this one is the britannia and germania you guys can see britannia over on this side with her shield um i think they're in peace Germania's, you know, tagging along. I forgot how the story goes. They're holding hands here. They're getting along. Here she's following along with her. Uh, this is Germania and Colombia. And this one's Britannia and Germania. So, yeah, these are beautiful. These are beautiful coins for me. I love the Germania uh, releases. So I will bust these out. These will be my everyday carries. So I'm going to make a video soon here about a um, bunch of bunch of gold backs um that i have and we'll be we'll be kind of talking about them i see folks doing that but these are these are kind of like gold backs as well i think this has um a couple grams of gold on it i can't actually remember um what it has on it but th this is actually a couple grams of gold um itself um and this is silver so you know, I don't know if I really, if I like the gold backs over these. Um, this was like 160, 150, 160 for a couple grams of gold. Um, and this one was like 38 or 48 bucks. I mean, it's real silver, supposedly. So, um, you know, I like stuff like that. But I just wanted to touch base real quick, shoot a video out there, let everybody look at some, um, some silver, some gold. Um, and this is a completer coin that has been antiqued um really beautiful coin rainbow antiqued i mean i really really like this coin looks good let's get it up close there we go got that blue purple kind of look like a chameleon paint right those cards with the paint jobs that turn colors right Just wanted to give you a good a good look at this. It's beautiful. But anyway, yeah. Um just wanted to do a quick video, kind of show everybody um, you know, some of this this good eye candy. But you know, is silver an investment to you? That's the question. Is silver an investment to you? You know, is it a vehicle to store your money uh and to ride your money out into the sunset with you? 
Or what is your silver stacking for? What are you stacking silver for? Once again, is it an investment? Is it a solution to stacking your money? What do you consider stacking silver? And with that, I just want to say silver's cheap today. It's on sale. 2201. Go out and get you some. All right, y'all. Silver stack gang, I'm out.